Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals and I am here with um, day 20, 20, 21, 20 of Vader and I am showing you today my kit storage. So these are three kit size albums from Planaface. Um, I do PR for Planaface, I got this one for free and these two at a discounted price. Um, so I just like to start with that disclaimer. Um, but I think the quality is amazing and I would say that whether or not I PR'd for her, whether you believe me, that's up to you, but you've seen how much I use her kits and her stuff. So that's why I use these because they're great quality, not because I PR for her, I PR for her because she makes great, great quality stuff. Um, so anyway, because I PR for her, you can use Tilly 10 for 10% off any order at Planner Face and you can pick up these albums in that. So I have three albums for kits, two with actual kits in and one for planning out my kits. So we'll start with the planning out kits album. So I'll pop those two to one side. So this is the marble um, album. So they are sturdy plastic. So what I have in here is I have 12 bows down the side, one to represent each month of the year. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And so they are just made with simply gilded bow seals, one stuck on either side of the plastic wallet. So what I do with this is on the week that the bow tab is on, we have the monthly kit. Sorry, you just heard my phone vibrate. Um, so this is the monthly kit I'm using for April. It is my birthday in April, so that's that. Um, and I have the Monday start strips with that. Um, as it's past the 1st of April, I've already planned it in my bullet journal, but if I had my bullet journal kit would be, sorry, I'm just gonna turn my phone onto silent. So if I had a bullet journal uh, sticker kit, it would be there. Um, I didn't actually use one in April. I'm just gonna refocus the camera because it was focused on the top of the albums. Um, so that's what would be there. And then after that, each week has a divider. There are 60 in this. So um, 60 sleeves. So each month has five so four for a week and one for a month which does leave you very slightly short but because it will never be full i only ever plan like six weeks eight weeks in advance that doesn't really matter so um it's the first week in april so there's no kit in here and it's a full kit so there isn't anything in there if it was a mini kit there would be the kit for my memory planner would be there so next week's my birthday so actually it's after <laughs> it's already been my birthday by the time you see this the 13th is my birthday um so that was that that's the kit i'm using for then so then we move on to some mini kits so if i have a mini kit i have the week i'm going to use my b6 on the front and on the back i have the one i'm going to use my memory planner um so those two are both that so that's actually all I have planned in advance at the moment. The only other sheet I have in here is I've got some September 2018 wacky holidays from Once More With Love, so they're in the September pocket. And that is literally all I have in there at the moment. I haven't actually planned it very much in advance yet, um, but it gives me somewhere to plan my kits out um, and just to go when I want the week. So that's that folder. The other two are full of kits. And they are similar designs, but they're obviously not quite the same, and the spines are very obviously different. So I'll start with this one, which is the one I've had for longer, and is, I don't know whether you can see, but fatter. Um, I mean, they're pretty similar, but this one is fatter, has more kits in. Um, and this one is my planner face and strawberry lime designs <laughs> kits. So this chunk is planner face, this chunk is strawberry lime designs. And if this doesn't tell you why I PR for Planner Face and why I say I love Strawberry Land Designs kits, I don't know what will. I have as many of their kits combined as I do from all of the other shops I own kits from. So yeah, um, so this has my Planner Face kits in at the front. So we've got Ultraviolet, Ava, Whiskers on Kittens, Tea Party. So Whiskers on Kittens, I had a mini kit and a full kit. I just put the mini kit behind there. Um, tea party we've got um, a sh empty pocket <laughs> two empty pockets clearly where I've pulled out the sticker kits um, got the strawberry line designs planner face exclusive kit from her bundle marvelous 
Emily, um, which is an old format kit, which is why it's got a bit looser in there. Um, the, these kits are designed specifically for Anna's kits, so they do fit beautifully. Um, so we've then got Adventure, Inked, Fairy Tale. This is on premium matte paper, and I was just testing out how pens worked on that, and I love it. They look how black that is. It's just great. Um, Nourish, sorry, Fairy Tale, Glamorous some more empty pockets from where I've pulled them out. Succulents, which was the limited edition that was in the um, advent calendar. Peonies, and that's it for the planner face kits at the moment. Then we move on to Strawberry Lamb Designs ones. So we've got Cupcake, Work Essentials. You'll notice I have glitter headers behind them if I have the glitter headers for the kit. Um, Slay the Day, um, and I have like a freebie that matches the Slay the Day artwork, so that's just in there as well. Peaches, the April Mystery Kit, which I love this artwork so much. Um, the Cyber Monday Mystery Kit, Periwinkle Blooms, Kindness, the Ugly Kit, which is not ugly, which this is my backup copy. I've used my first copy. Oh. Okay, um, and again, there was a freebie with that. So, yeah, that's behind there. Galaxy Unicorns, Wishes, Anna, which I'm pretty sure is named after Anna of Planaface. Um, Emily, Anna's kit called Emily is named after Emily of Marlowe Paper. Um, this was a freebie that came with the bundle that Anna came in um, and from Savannah May 6 and that's just there because it matches. Ever After, the July mystery kit, the June mystery kit, why they're backwards I don't know, and Eliza. So they are my, and then a load of empty pockets. So they are my planner face and strawberry lime designs kits. And that's how they are organized. There's no particular organization to the kits in there. They're just in there. This album, however, is a bit more organized because this is essentially my kits from all other shops. <laughs> so at the front, we have sort of floral kits. So this was the July mystery kit from GP Sticker Studio and the bits that came with that are behind there. Then we have Sadie's sticker anniversary kit um, and the bits that came with that. We have Bloom Grow Blossom from Blossom Nose Co. We've got Spring Afternoon from Toffee Bananas. This is when she used to do her full full kits. Um, got the Autumn Mystery Bundle kit from Hello Petite Paper. Mystery box, yeah. Um, so they're, they're like florals. Next we have like Work Hard, Getting Things Done type kits. So we've got this one from Paper Chick Plans, which I don't know what's called. We've got the June Mystery Kit from GP Sticker Studio. We've got um, this horizontal kit from Creating & Co. Don't know the name of that either. It's got a code, but yeah. We've, again, glitter headers and stuff. Glitter samplers there. We've got this Kate Spade um, Lily & Miko design. She sold this with profits going to um, uh, suicide awareness thing. So they're my like getting things done kits. Next we have sort of galaxy and watercolory kits. So this is was the anniversary kit from um, Morello Papery, um, and I love that. And that silver foil is just on point. Then we've got um, some mini kit from Little Rainbow Moon, like goals and dreams, um, like self care Little Rainbow Moon kit, geometric animals Little Rainbow Moon kit. So they're like my watercolory ones. Next we have sort of neutral or darker coloured ones. So we've got Live Life for, uh, from K Elizabeth Plans. She is reopened. This is not her current format of kits. I just can't wait till she releases um, her premium matte paper so I can stock up on her kits. Her kits pages are also giant but they fit in fine. Um, this is a Hello uh, Your World of Colour kit and she actually made Carly made my cats into double boxes to match this kit, which was super sweet. This is our pictures of my cats. Um, and she's actually reformatted her kits since then, and they do now fit perfectly in these albums. They didn't at this point. Um, this one is from Harry Red Designs. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Monochrome. There you go. Um, so that's those ones. Next we have. I think this is just an other. Oh no, this is this. Yeah, this is other category. So we've got a couple of Scribble Friends Co. kits in that. Um, they're just up there. And then finally, we have like our fandom section or like 
yeah that sort of thing so we've got some disney kits so this one's from harry Wright designs and um, oh where's this one from i feel like it's pretty on paper co she doesn't put her yes it is pretty on paper co she doesn't put her um name on all of the sheets so yeah and um, that one's from pretty on paper co then we have a um we've got an empty wallet between each of these to put space in we've got molly creations sims kit we've got some um harry potter either full boxes or kits so that's an um, oodlama doodles full box sheet and my newest addiction full box sheet and some pretty on paper co quote full boxes and then right at the back of this i have my um foil overlay so yeah just to again illustrate the planner face strawberry line designs thing those are actually the kits the rest of this is not kits and um, it's other things so yeah there are more of them combined than there are of every other kit I own. and yeah i don't need to buy a kit for ages um i will only i'm only buying kits that i really love and i'm trying to only buy mini kits at the moment but i'm not always doing that um <laughs> so here we have like my um foil washi strips that won't fit anywhere else or things that won't fit anywhere else so we've got these two pages by handcrafted by Cherie. this one from morelli papery and this starts with gold obviously another one by morelli papery then we have my washi strips um which i just put on the bottom of my um overlay sheets because there's a bit of space to put them on so yeah the gold ones they're just falling a little bit oh no they're not that one's meant to be dodgy uh wonky <laughs> not dodgy um so yeah that's those then we have silver so we've again got the Merlot papery handcrafted by Cherie and my own there it's quite a lot in silver because it's my favorite foil color and then rose gold we've got Merlot papery handcrafted by Cherie and then my own again and they definitely just fell I can't be bothered to fix that what I should probably do is blue tack or washi tape these to um each other or um a piece of backing paper so they don't wiggle around and then just at the back I have a full washi sheet strip from by gem designs which this is her jet by gem julia from by gem designs is water coloring so yeah and that is it so i own a lot of kits and i probably don't need to buy a kit for absolutely ages but i love buying kits so <laughs> and this is why i have no spend on my trackers because i need to get this down a bit and i'm i'm getting there it was worse before um but yeah so well, that's how I organise my kits at the moment. I'm hoping that I will never need another album for kits. Um, really hoping. Um, I might expand my washi into another album or something and I might get one of these bigger albums for vinyls. But yeah. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Tune in tomorrow for a flip through of my Erin Condren. I believe today is the 20th and tomorrow is the 21st when you're seeing this video. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know down below how you store your kits and whether you own any Planet Fellows albums. Um, I really like using the Simply Gilded seals, that's upside down, um, as dividers in them. I think it works really well. So yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow for another video. Bye!